changes are about to take place as I taste and break and drop the black rain. Storm lit a sweet fire, perspired and spy days from rays about to turn around and bring forth a new day. Ascent from the goddess of love invoke my thoughts for the demons of loss with some help from below, some help from above. Fire risen, crackle clouds. Stand tall and be kind and be proud and shout. Paranormal influences, keeping my eyes open to our circumstances. The intoxication is opening these laws of consciousness. Coincidence, I don't think so. My name is James Robertson. They call me Loco Jim. <laughs> I'm the best of the best to hell with the rest. My, my name is Michael Christopher Sedil, and I'm from Hermosa Beach, California. I've been in and off the streets over eight years. You know, in and off, you know what I mean? Um, I got this other injury here last year. I had a backhoe service, you know, that, you know, a tractor. That, and we were over here in, 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 in uh, UCSB and we're cleaning out the canal. The hillside gave out on me and I tumbled down 22 feet. I'm lucky to be alive. When the firefighters pulled up on me, they told me, they said, hey, JR, we know that you are you alive? <laughs> and I went like this. <laughs> Thumbs up. There are so many people living on the streets right now. And the, and the population does not recognize how we have to be loved and they don't recognize that at all. We need to be loved, we need to be hugged, and comfort, and taken care of. And my favorite song in the world, because I have a whole bunch of them, of course. Someday, baby, I'll let you comfort me. I'll take my chances, girl, I'll risk it all. And this baby, grab me and comfort me, and I'll comfort you back, right back, totally right back. I love you, sweet. Um, because I choose to, in a sense, I really don't have to, you know, but I'm in this wheelchair and I'm limited and I don't want my family, I mean, friends of my family, you know what I mean, to, to cater to me, you know what I mean? I'm too dang old, man. I'm going to be 60 years old this December. <laughs> I'm just, I don't want to cater to nobody, you know what I mean? I don't want nobody catering to me, let's put it that way. I think that asking for change, it has two purposes. It makes the person feel good because they're giving you money. And it makes the other person feel good because that person took out the time to care. See, the problem is that everybody gets linked into the same category. Can you put a kindergarten with a college student? Not everybody's had the same training. Not everybody's went through the same school. I mean, at the age of four, I already knew what molestation was, death. I knew there was no Santa Claus. How the hell is a Santa Claus? Oh, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't want to ruin for the college kids. No, but I'm saying, there's no chimney. And I live in a bad neighborhood with 80 locks. A guy comes through your chimney, you'll blow his head off. It's a joke. You get it? It's, um, everybody's raised different. Not when one is better than the other. It's just the situations. Everything has to be categorized. That's a problem. Who gives a fuck if Eminem is white? He's a badass rapper. Goals in life, you know what goals are? They're called dreams. You know what a dream is? Something that you always have in your mind. If my dreams came true, I'd be, I'd be in heaven, and that's where I'm going. When I die, I'm going to heaven, because I know I haven't cheated nobody, I haven't stole from nobody, and I haven't taken, you know what I mean? I used to see the homeless 
a sad, depressed, high beggars. I felt sorry for them. And sometimes I even gave them money. I didn't really see them. I've never had a real conversation with one. And in making this film, I genuinely enjoyed having a conversation with JR, Chris and George. And in truth, homelessness could happen to me. It could happen to anyone. And I will always see the homeless as equals. I will smile and I will say hello.